Hey, and welcome back. You're joining me on another 100 kilometer ride, and uh, I'm not going to bore you with all that. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you my weapon of affordability because my bike was all about being affordable and having good enough components for me to take it further than you know I would when I started out. So this is my bike. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack The Silverback Sido 1 uh, A lot of people pronounce it differently uh, You spell it with a S-I-D-O So Sido. Some people call it uh, Sido. So the story about my bike is this is not the stock Sido 1 bike that you would buy in the shops. What happened was I approached a local bike shop and I told them this is my price range and they called around a little and they were at that time dealers of the Silverback brand. They called me back. They told me they can't get the Sido 2 which is the price range that I was looking at. They can't get the Sido 2, but what they could do is get the Sido 2 components. So all the components that the Sido 2 would come out with, like the fork, the, the brakes, the drivetrain, the shock, anything that you would expect on the Sido 2, those components. But they couldn't get the Sido 2 frame, which was, if I remember correctly, was like a green and black coloring. What they could do is they could get the Sido 1 frame. The Sido 1 frame really intrigued me because that's my that's the colors I look for. But then I didn't settle for the components of the Sido 2. Eventually I upgraded my bike because the Sido 2 comes out with a 2x10 setup. So you got two chain rings in front and like a 10 cassette, 10 gear cassette at the back which I was really enjoying. I didn't have any complaints, but a little money came my way and uh, I spoke to a good friend and he helped me decide and order all the correct parts for me to convert to a one by 11 setup. So, I am currently running a 11 speed, which is a 46 tooth for your granny gear and a 11 tooth for your smallest gear on the cassette. So if you're starting out with a one by setup, you would actually be looking for like a 50 tooth because you are gonna lack that climbing capability. Your legs need to be a lot stronger the smaller the cogs go. So the reason I went for the 46 tooth is because I'm going oval chainring in the front. Now this is a 34 tooth oval chain ring, but it's like a 34, 32, so each time you crank, you get like that little relief to the 32, but then, you know. So with the 46 tooth at the back, if I need it, I've got the oval chain ring in the front, which is going to give me that little bit of relief. To tell you the truth, my wife's bike, which is the Silverback Stride Expert, that's got a 34 tooth normal round chain ring and um, jumping in between the bikes I can tell you definitely the oval chain ring makes a huge difference it really does help with the with the cranks in the front the fork is a RockShox Recon it's the it's a gold version the stock Sido 1 that bike comes out with a Fox 32 I think and uh, the drivetrain is also like a SRAMS 1x12 setup. So um, this bike is totally different than what you would find if you would buy it stock in the shop. I am running a few cheaper parts as well, like the I've got a Marvel. This is a wing seat. It's just very soft. I enjoy it. Then I've got a Marvel grip on the left, 
this is a silicon grip and then this is a ESI grip on the right also a silicon grip I actually bought two different grips to see you know what the difference is why would you want to pay more if it you know if a cheaper product is actually just as good I must be honest the cheaper product is just as good or maybe even better because it is slightly more you know comfortable it's just softer my uh, overall chainring slash crank setup at the front is from line components so if you see this is like a, a false I don't really know the the models that they bring out but this is line components and the false and then for my clipless pedals I'm running Marvel duo rippers so that's my bike I hope you enjoyed it I took the red pill I know life's short so I wanna live real But how's it supposed to